What's up everybody? Welcome to Dexter's Reef Lab. And on this episode, we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do about green hair algae that uh, is overtaking the uh, peninsula tank. So I'll detail a bunch of things I've already done to combat it, the current status, and then um, what I'm gonna do moving forward. So I've done everything that I know to do up to this point, other than a chemical option, and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna talk about it and hopefully that kills this green devilish goo. So let's do it. All right, so it's nighttime, which is the majority of the time that I can film, but wanted to show you um, we're in some uh, <clears throat> lunar light right now so it's a little dark but it's illuminating the hair algae nicely so to give you a, an idea of what it looks like so from inside the fish room that is all covered there a couple little spots here now we've kept it at bay but it's not going away um, so some of the things that I've done or I've reduced the light cycle from 12 to uh, 8 hours. So <clears throat> the original light setting was what I do 10 to 10 and then um, what did I do? I went from uh, 12 to 10. So the second thing I did was I stopped feeding flake and pellet. Um, I just am feeding frozen and live foods. So everybody, a few people are, or people, listen to me. A few fish are still awake. Um, so I've stopped feeding pellet and flake because they're super nutrient dense uh, compared to the frozen and the live foods. Now. I'm feeding a little bit more of the frozen and live than I was just to keep the nutrition up for the fish. Got to keep them nice and, and thick. Um, but pellet and flake is just super dense um, with nutrients and what doesn't get eaten pollutes the tank like crazy. So just feeding frozen and live at the moment. Uh, the other thing is I've turned the skimmers on now 24-7. Um, before the skimmer was uh, only on at night um, and then I bumped it up to 24-7 uh, and then I'm also I think the fuge light is on now yeah and I'm swapping out the swapping out the filter floss daily so this is what it looks like after about a full day of filtering out and then the fuse light is on uh, opposite schedule for uh, 10 hours I believe and then you see that skimmer there just pulling out the gunk <clears throat> and I do have my UV going 24-7 as well so that has stopped the spread <clears throat> but it's not making it go away. So what I've got here is I think there's I mean this rock was from my last setups so I wonder if there's nutrients in the rocks that are leaching out. Um, also I was feeding pretty heavy because I had a ton of fish. At that point when I first set up the tank there were six clowns in here because I was setting up a clown harem and that failed miserably. Um, I'll explain what happened there but I'm down to one. Or I had the pair in here but the other little one that was turning into the male um, he just disappeared. He was hosting. I have a short that was up um, of him hosting this uh, giant uh, discoma mushroom and I woke up the next day after posting that video and he was gone. But uh, anyway, let's go around to the other side and I'll show you the 
algae from there. Not as great of a image from here because of the light behind me, but I mean that whole little bummy has got a hair algae forest on it. And this outcrop does. What's up, Mr. Snail? Mr. Turbo, you should be eating the algae, not the glass. Or not the algae on the glass. You should be eating the algae on the rock. I love their little mouths. They're so funny. Like little brushes. They just scrape the glass. All right, back to it. So this, oh, this is terrible. Hold on a sec. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I had to turn the overhead lights off. So the this little outcrop here, there's a good amount up there. It's pretty dark, but the lights are slowly ramping down. And then this week, I started getting some on the sand bed. So that is the only... I think what it's doing is it's bits are falling off um, where it's been growing and then falling down. So I, I don't know if it's spreading or if it's just, well, I guess that is spreading. I don't know what, the, I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. Anyway, that has led me to move to the next step, which is chemical treatment. So let me go grab that. So we're going to be using Flux RX, which is just fluc I'm going to butcher it. Let me find it. Flucazinol? Let's see. All right. Fluconazole. Fluconazole? Fluconazole. It kills green hair algae and bryopsis. I don't have any bryopsis, but I definitely, it's, it's all green hair algae. So that's the only algae I have in the tank right now. There were one or two little spots of bubble algae, but um, anyhow, this I scoured through YouTube for a while looking at people's uh, experience with this stuff and it looks like it is reef safe. Manufacturer says it's reef safe. It's not going to hurt your um, corals in any way. Um, I don't have any ma macro algaes at the moment. Uh, there is uh, algae growing in the refugium section, but let's go look at that. It is mostly hair algae. So this is probably going to die off. There is some... Oh, you can see a little... Never mind, he's gone. There's a bunch of pods down in there. This is like pod central. Um, there is some uh, Kato down in there, Catomorpha algae. Um, so that is supposed to survive this stuff. So that would be nice to kill all the hair algae that's in there and just be left with the Kato. So anyway, we're going to be doing that. You have to turn off your um, UV sterilizer. You have to turn off uh, any sort of reactors with carbon and then you turn off your skimmer so what's going to happen though is once you dose this stuff uh, it takes around 15 days uh, from what I've seen online um, and no water changes for that time so we're going to miss um, let's see so I know we'll probably miss two water changes so what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to vacuum out the dead and dying um, algae so it doesn't pollute the tank because one way you can go wrong with this stuff is <clears throat> is the dying algae can actually let me turn the lights back on all right we're back so one way uh, one way it can go off the rails is um, the algae that's dying will just re-pollute the tank and you're back to square one. So the dead and dying algae will fuel more algae. So you'll have to, since you can't do water changes, I'm just gonna have to constantly be siphoning and pulling out by hand the dead and dying stuff, so. But the uh, results from a lot of folks have been encouraging, so we will follow along. So I'm gonna put a dose in tonight. It is, March 5th, and 
we'll uh, we'll see how it works. So, best of luck. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help. Um, and like and share these videos. So, thank you. Happy reefing. And there is the mascot of Dexter's Reef Lab. Just a quick side note. Jedi. What up, dude? This is Jedi. He is our... Uh, what are you? You're not a mini Aussie. You're smaller than that. What are you? What do they call that? Toy? A toy Aussie? That's what you are. But he's the bestest boy. Aren't you, buddy? Aren't you, buddy, boy? He's up late with me all the time because he's my shadow. But you're a good boy, aren't you, Jedi? Jedi, say hi. Say hi. No? Okay, crazy eyes. Love you.